part of my business is offending people. What do you know about Nick Cannon? You probably know him as a comedian, actor, rapper, TV host, the ex-husband of Mariah Carey, and the father of twins. Most of his life has been spent in the public eye. You'd hardly call him offensive, but the funny man has a political side, and he's showing it on social media. You're moving the conversation forward, especially when it comes to your spoken word. Yeah. Tell me about the idea behind that. It really started when I was uh, doing the film with Spike Lee, Chirac. Cause my gun go boom, I'll make sure a Trojan end up in the next. You know, I would just be in my hotel room uh, reciting a lot of my poems, and I just started putting it on Facebook and putting it on Instagram, and people were responding to it in such a big way. Nick's spoken word Instagram videos have gone viral. He's posted poems about Black Lives Matter. Damn right, Black Lives Matter. And the reaction from that prompted him to visit Dallas after the police shootings. Dallas Flowers. When we say Black Lives Matter, I truly believe that it's a systemic problem. We're, we know that there's good cops, but I don't know of a good system. Even in the way that it's designed, people don't commit crimes. They commit acts, and then acts are criminalized. If you want to say we commit crimes, drinking out of a water fountain 50 years ago with, with the wrong color on it was a crime. And a lot of times uh, I'm saying it to spark the conversation or to get a reaction. One video that's definitely gotten a reaction, his music video for Too Broke to Vote, which took on Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Nobody for president, that's my campaign slogan. Are you uh, gonna vote? Oh, absolutely. That's a, you are gonna vote. Yeah, okay. I'm not voting for those two okay. people <laughs> at this point. I have a huge issue with the, the two-party system. They're so focused on arguing with each other opposed to the real issues that go on in everyday America. And we're voting on a personality opposed to really understanding the policy. Nick's taken those stances from the internet to the street. He's participated in marches against crime in Chicago and led a protest at the RNC. That's why I'm out here now, practicing what I preach. He says he's more interested in real change than just posting his opinions on social media. Some celebrities aren't as vocal as you. Why do you choose to get so passionate about political <laughs> issues, Black Lives Matter? You know, no one wants to get caught out there ranting on Twitter. Or, you know, you, you gotta make sure you know what's going on because I, I do talk so much and I have to know what I'm talking about. I don't wanna just look like one of those celebrities that's just like, oh yeah, I'm not doing this and not doing that and I haven't done the research. It, when you're going into battle, you gotta have the right artillery.